Continue our neighborhood crime alert, sex crimes. Every hour of our broadcast day today, we're giving you information to help you protect yourself and your family. Not in my neighborhood is a battle cry we often hear when a sexual offender or predator is looking for housing. But now News 4 Jax has learned housing these men and women has become a business. Channel 4's Jim Piggott talked with one man who is a sexual offender himself and who also helps other offenders who are now out of prison find a place to live that's within the law. This map from FDLE shows where thousands of sex offenders and predators live just within a five-mile radius of downtown Jacksonville. It's hard to imagine that so many of them have found a place to live that isn't around kids. There's a lot of hoops to jump through every, every time we, but uh, we follow the guidelines 100%. This man, Donald Bell, now makes a living at finding those spots. He's a convicted sex offender himself and has been out of jail for some time. He knows what's involved in trying to find a place that's within the guidelines set by the courts for sexual offenders and predators. The process starts about five, six months before a felon gets out. They have to have an address to be released to. There's two bathrooms in the house. Bell works for the Southeast New Star Transition Program. The group buys property in industrial neighborhoods in Jacksonville, away from schools and parks. Now they are contacted by the offender or the probation's office to help find a safe and legal place for these people to live. I can show you around in here these houses. This company has six houses like this around Jacksonville. Two of the houses they are for sexual predators. Two others are for sexual offenders. And then two others are for regular offenders. Now, in this case, these rooms are very open, and that's because probation can come in. They can take a look around, but they say these houses are needed. Bell says it takes about a year to buy the properties that qualify. When we find a house, usually what I do is go around to, and knock on doors and tell them that we're getting ready to open a place. Bell agreed to talk to us if we didn't identify the locations of the houses, which house about 45 to 55 men. He says there are strict rules that they must follow, and there hasn't been any problems in the six years that they've been operating here. Uh, my personal philosophy is out of sight, out of mind. And uh, one of the rules in our uh, company is that you cannot stand out front and talk you cannot stand outside and wait for uh, somebody. Bell says the average person stays about 90 days, but some have been there for years. He keeps track of those who leave and says they appear to do much better when they stay with the group. Why do this? Is there money to be made? Well, I suppose in the long run there will be. Every penny that, that Southeast has made in the last six years of its existence has gone back into the company to purchase more houses, uh, upgrade the houses which are available to us, and, and we're always on the watch for new housing. Bell says he's now getting calls to house women offenders. They have not done that yet, but they are considering buying a house just for women. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.